Hey y'all. So I am back from vacation and of course I have tons of work to do. And yeah, so I think I got maybe like a good six hours of sleep and I am up to get some stuff started. So of course y'all know that I have to get my sweet tea first and that is where I'm headed. I have missed my craft room and yeah, so that's what y'all about to see me do today. All right, y'all. So I made it back home from Duncan with my sweet tea and I'm about to get started. The first thing I have to do is ship out some Etsy orders. I put both of my Etsy shops on hold for two weeks because I was on vacation. I didn't want to risk any situations where people were expecting their items and they didn't get it. No matter how many times you say or state or list that the items will not ship right away or they'll ship by this date, people still expect that. I did not want any situations with anybody or with Etsy. So I just put it on hold wasn't very popular. I have to find a better way of doing that because that is two weeks worth of revenue and people need some of these items. However, yeah, I didn't want to put that pressure on anybody else. My friend um, helps me with everything. I usually do. I'm a person who likes to be very hands-on with everything I do. And so I kind of do everything, but I have a friend who will help me with anything, but I usually do the Etsy stuff myself she already had enough on her plate helping me out with my airbnbs so i can't yeah i would not want to put any pressure on her with that however i need to send those items out from etsy first and then y'all y'all know i've been gone for two weeks so i need to make sure my printers are printing out as they should so that's going to be next and then i'll get working on the <laughs> and then i'll get working on the um cricket video and definitely going to do that peekaboo video first i do need to make a quick run to michael's when they open um but that's in like two hours so let's get our day started y'all guys so i'm done with printing some items this is my first print from my epson eco tank 15,000, and y'all it is as clean as when i put it in so i am definitely going to have to work on that and this is my print from the 2750 the eco tank 2750 and it looks amazing so nothing's wrong with this printer but definitely the 15,000, I'm going to have to check that out and see what's going on. So as you know, a lot of people will tell you, oh, your things will be fine for a week or two weeks or a month or whatever. Every printer is different. That's why I like to say when you guys see me do things, I like to make sure you know that this, is, this works for me. I always try to show you guys or tell you guys the safe way of doing anything because I definitely don't want to tell you to go and do something and then it doesn't work for you. And then you're like, well, you said that this was going to happen. So just make sure that you try these things out for yourself and you see what works for you. You test them out and you see if it works for you. And sometimes you have to adjust. Everybody's machines are different. So that's just a little pointer that I wanted to give you guys. Test these things out. Try for yourself. If it goes against your reasoning, don't do it. All right, so let me figure this out and see how this is going to go. I did leave the printers on um, while I was away. Nothing um, was off. Everything was as I, I left it. So these things happen. It's a part of business, but I definitely have to get these going because I do have some prints that I need to print out. All right, y'all. So I ended up doing one print head 
cleaning in order to see what was going on with my machine and that seemed to work. So I did a few print head alignments, only three, which I only really needed to do two. So the first one, I had like some slight breaks in two of the lines for the black and I had a break in the one line for the magenta and I don't want to see any breaks. So I did another print head alignment and honestly y'all it, it was really fine it's nothing major so i'm going to print out my image again and see how that prints out all right y'all so i am listening to shakia with honestly speaking Silaholics anonymous let me she has a real good live um, this morning, the five W's, and I'm going to have a link to it. I don't know if she's going to keep it up, but if she does keep it up, I will have a link. But I just wanted to show y'all, this is after one print head cleaning and just two alignments, and I probably just really only needed that one. Because look how this looks, y'all. It printed out great and it may be the color from my soft light that's kind of hitting it but it printed out beautifully all right so i'm happy with that and i am going to finish with orders and then just get ready to make the video for the shirt the peekaboo shirt. I know you guys have seen that. All right, y'all. So I am going to get ready to cut these out. And I was going to turn the press on, but I want to run to Michael's first before I actually turn the press on. I have an order for a shirt. Well, these are for the craftable things um, Etsy shop. And I also have another order for a shirt, but I thought I had some purple shirts, but I don't. So I need to go and get a purple shirt from Michaels. And I'm going, I, I don't like to get the shirts from Michaels if they're not on like a really good sale. I hope that there's going to be a sale when I go there today. I'm not sure, but you do what you have to do. And I have to get that shirt out. So, of course, that means my profit is not going to be what it usually is for that shirt. And I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that in this case because things happen. But I'm going to just prep and get, I have two masks that I need to send out. And I'm going to prep. And then for dynamic, I have some ink that I need to send out. And for those of you who don't know, I do sell my own ink. So the ink that you see me using in the tutorial videos or the unboxing videos, that is my ink, dynamic ink. And you can find that in my Etsy shop. So I have a few orders of ink that need to go out. And I also have an order for some blanks that need to go out. So, yep, yep, yep. That is what I'm about to do. And I actually see a few lines in this one. So in the print, you guys probably can't see. It's not going to, when I press it, these lines are not going to show in, in the press. But I do want to just go ahead and do a print head cleaning for the X10 2750 also. Just because I haven't used it in a while. And y'all, oh, I forgot about my other printer. Y'all, let me turn this sawgrass. Into, oh my God, it looks like the sawgrass went off. And I know everybody's like, do not turn it off. But I think it somehow it went off. I don't know how. Maybe there was like, it was a lot of rain. And sometime, sometimes when there's rain, um, the lights will flicker or the power will go out. And yeah, so that probably happened. All right, y'all. So I'm pretty much done with, setting up the orders so when I get back from Michael's all I have to do is really for most of them apply the labels but then I have some that have to press I have the two masks I have to press and I then have um that shirt that I have to do and that's going to be with HTV so that's what I'm going to do and I'll see y'all in Michael's
told me not to go inside of Five Below. Y'all, look. They had some new stuff, and yeah, I probably, I did not come here for this. I have tons of things that I should be doing at home, like getting those orders out and working on the cricket video that I have to do, because I agreed to do one by Friday, and I have that shirt that I want to try, which now, if I below, they have these hoodies. They're black, so it's good for HTV. Um, and also, I'm going to try that with the peekaboo method instead of doing the t-shirt. Or I may do both, but I definitely want to try it with that hoodie. It's only $5, and can't be that. So I'm definitely going to try that. But somebody should have stopped me because this is ridiculous. Now I have a whole new video back here that I'm going to have to do, test these things out, and show y'all. And I need to get that done right away because they had so many... Um, cute well they had a lot of uh school supplies and stuff like that and they had some other like some new items some stuff still was from before but they had some new like clothing options so i definitely want to show y'all that before it you know it's out so let me head back home i will see y'all in the craft room Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm good. Uh, yeah. Hey y'all, so I'm so excited to be doing this video today. I have been seeing this trending on TikTok and I could not wait to make it. So before I finish the video, I am going to press these masks that I need to put in the mail and then I'll finish the video. But first I want to definitely check the pressure because I haven't used it in a while and I just wanted to make sure that that's going to be a good amount of pressure and it will. And so I am going to press both of these together at the same time. You no, know, that was a lot of pressure. But I liked that one because these masks require a lot of pressure um, because the humps, like I guess where they stitched where the hoops are for the ears, it bulges out just a little bit. And so that kind of causes uneven pressure in that area. All right, look, so this is one, and it looks really good. And this is the other. So pretty happy with how they came out. So now I'm going to get ready to finish the video for the peekaboo shirts. Then I'm probably gonna work a little bit on the Cricut video that I have to do. And I just want to show y'all. So the sub paper, when I printed this out, had a little bit of white lines going through the image and you cannot see that. So when you have the white lines, it's not a, an issue when it's coverage like this. However, those black lines, y'all, they're always gonna show. So those very small dotted lines going down, they will always show, but the black ones, as y'all see, it's there. It, there's no lines. I don't even know if you guys can really see closely, but there are no lines at all. So that's just, I just wanted to share that with y'all. So y'all can see, not to worry about the white ones when you have coverage like this, but those black ones, yeah. All right, so I'm about to get started and I will see y'all when I'm done with this video. All right, y'all. So I'm pretty much done with the video. Um, I will have to edit it, but I'm tired. I, I probably should have just rested today, but I had a lot of things to get done and I'm glad that I was able to get those packages together and sent out. Um, yeah, so I'm happy about that. I did a few other things, but I did make this peekaboo shirt situation. Well, this is actually a hoodie that I got from Five Below. Y'all know I went to Five Below earlier. 
and a whole nother five below haul video is coming very soon hopefully i'll get to it this weekend um so that you guys are not like going and i had this stuff for a while but look how cute that turned out y'all this is the hoodie and this is the shirt so definitely i don't know which one i am going to upload first this video or that or the shirt video i don't know i'm getting a little bit delirious i don't know if you guys can tell but look how nice that turned out so yeah i'll see y'all tomorrow i'm just gonna keep this vlog running um and then yeah i'm gonna go get some rest and we'll be up and at it tomorrow i am going to try and go buy cerulean tides for bell my glow forge um they sell a lot of different kinds of acrylics and i want to check them out and see what they have that's going to be it for now i'll see y'all in the morning all right y'all so it's the morning and i am in the duncan line of course i have i got up super late i'm still on hawaii time hawaii is six hours behind florida and this is only my second day at home and so i just yeah i was up all night and slept all morning but i'm about to head to cerulean tides and those they sell acrylic that i can use on my glowforge on bell and so that is my plan i want to go by there they're going to let me see what they have they don't have a retail location so it's really going into their warehouse so i don't know if they're going to allow me to actually film anything in there well we shall see maybe they will maybe they won't i don't know but i do want to see what they have and when i get back i have to dive into that cricket video and uh film and um edit only good thing is that i know exactly what i'm doing i already have it planned out while i was in hawaii i kind of sketched out everything and i know exactly what i'm doing so I'm not too worried about getting that done pretty timely. And I'm just going to rest. So, all right, y'all. I will see y'all at Cerulean, hopefully. Just to get some acrylic y'all see all this acrylic behind me and i'm actually getting a mini lesson y'all know i barely know how to use bell so i'm getting a mini lesson how cool is that and they also have the settings for their material on, or their recommended settings on their website which is even cooler because y'all know i don't know what i'm doing but we're gonna figure it out all right, y'all, so I kind of had to rush home and get on that Cricut video, and these are the final items that I made. I am going to upload the video so you guys can see. Also, the shirt that I picked up from Five Below, I wanted to test it out and see if it could be bleached, and guess what? It can be bleached. So I love the outcome, and this is how I ended my day. So thank you all so much for watching. Until next time.